Hey, how's it going everybody? And it's here, it's actually here. These are the gaming benchmarks of the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D against the 13900K and the 7950X with the RTX 4090. And to sum it up, basically the 7950X 3D is one of the fastest gaming CPUs, but the only thing that actually separates it from the 7950X other than the good gaming performance is that actually it consumes less power, so this is like a 50 watt lower in terms of TDP compared to the 7950X so this means that it wouldn't run as hot but the 7950X itself can be cheaper and also have a better multi-threaded performance but this will not make any difference once you compare it to the 3900K because both CPUs pretty much beat them but without wasting any further ado that's basically what the 7950X 3D is but let's take a look at the benchmarks and as you can see right now with the benchmarks with the RTX 4090 we're looking at around the same frame rates when it comes to Assassin's Creed Valhalla Borderlands 3 we're looking at around 5 to 6 frame rates per second difference that 1080p CSGO actually we're looking at the 3900k beating the 7950x 3d because the 7950x 3d even though it's a 3d vcache cpu but it's actually lower in terms of clocks to the 3900k and the 7950x and that explains why it's actually still slower than the 7950x by 6% which is cyberpunk 2077 and we're looking at around a 15 fps difference now all the other frame rates we're looking at around 20 percent to 15 to 25 even at for f1 2021 far cry 6 is the same as csgo where it actually depends on the cpu clocks so yeah basically pretty much around five to six uh, percent difference compared to the 3900k in terms of performance so it's not that much when it comes to gaming but the thing is when you compare it to the 3900k you'd find that you can get better temperatures and you will not need that uh, that big of a cooler and probably this is not with PBO turned on which means that this CPU out of the box is a pretty power efficient high end CPU and it provides an actually better gaming performance up to 25% as actually AMD have advertised with Horizon Zero Dawn. So would I recommend this CPU? Yes, I would, but I don't know what will be the right uh, price tag for it because $700 seems to be a lot since it's just competing and beating the 3900 by not a long shot, you know. So yeah, it's interesting to see what it's gonna look like and I really feel bad for the X version CPUs because basically they are useless right now. Yes, they provide better performance on multitasking, but at what cost? Very high TDP and very high temperatures that you can hardly actually uh, run it at something around 80 to 85 degrees even so yeah so yeah that's been it let me know your thoughts down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one peace